Exponents and radicals. Question 11. Simplify square root of 8 to the power of minus 1 plus square root of 18 to the power of minus 1. So now I am introducing you to negative 1 exponent, right? Negative 1 is like reciprocal, right? If you have a to the power of minus 1, it means 1 over a, okay? That is how you have to see this, correct? So 8 to the power of minus 1 is 1 over 8. And square root of this will be square root of this. So that is how I am going to change these radicals, okay? Square roots. So I can write this as square root of 1 over 8, so that is minus 1, is 1 over 8, right? plus square root of 1 over 18, right? 18 to the power of minus 1. This is how it can be written, correct? Now we'll factor 8 and 18 as we did earlier, right? So I'll draw my factor tree. So 8 could be written as 2 times 4 and 4 is 2 times 2. Similarly, 18 can be written as 9 times 2 and 9 is 3 times 3, right? So we did prime factorization, correct? That helps to write down the square root. So we can write this as square root of 1 over 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. And 18 is 1 over 3 times 3 times 2. So what we get here is, so we can take 2 times 2, that is, 1, 2 outside, so it becomes half. It is 1 over 2, right? 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. And in the square root, I have half square root. Plus here, similarly, I have 1 over 3 square root of half. Is it okay? That is how it is. Now, these are like terms because both have square root of half in them, right? So we can add half and 1 over 3, and then we can write down our answer. So it is half plus 1 over 3, correct? And this is 1 over square root 2, or we can write like this also, because square root of 1 is 1, right? So we can add these two. So we can add by taking common factor. Common factor here is 6, right? Lowest common denominator is 6. So to make it 6, I'll have to multiply this by 3 and this by 2, right? So I get 6 here, and this is 3 plus 2, correct? And that is 1 over square root 2. So I can write this as 3 plus 2 is 5. So 5 over 6 times 1 over square root 2, correct? So that is our answer, which can also be written as 5 over 6 square root 2. So that is the way this type of questions will be done. I hope you understand the steps. So first thing is, whenever it is to the power of minus 1, it is 1 over 8. It's kind of reciprocal. So remember that. Okay? And then you need to find a perfect square as a factor of the number. 4 is a perfect square which could be written as 2 times 2. So, so 2 could be taken out in case 1 over 2, right? In this case. So here 1 over 9 is a perfect square, correct? So which is 1 over 3. And that is how you do it. I hope you understand. Thank you.